Hello Yanderis and Senpais and welcome to a very different video. This is going to be on the serious side as I feel like this is an important issue to for me to discuss. As a fellow black YouTuber, uh, in case you already don't know, this is in regards to YouTube and more specifically Corey X Kenshin's experiences with YouTube as of late. Without any other further ado, let's just dive into the video. So many of you guys here, I'm pretty sure, will have watched the Corey X Kenshin video called YouTube Racism and Favoritism. For those who haven't, I'm going to give you a quick sum up of the video. Uh, basically, he uploaded a video on, I can't remember what it was. It was like this challenge or, or this game or something like that. And it had something, he had a part where it had topics about self-harm and I think. And his video got age restricted. But So he reached out to YouTube about this and more specifically his YouTube rep. And he said he would get back to him within a few days. And then he saw, he noticed that Markiplier did the same video on the same game. And he had that same self-harm topic on his, but, and his wasn't age restricted. So obviously this infuriated Corey and he he started to suspect that there was racism uh, and favoritism going on. So he reaches out again to his rep and the rep says he'll get back to him. And a few days later, his video wasn't age restricted anymore. And this infuriated Corey because he was going to be like, wait, so... If, if my video is age restricted, which is fair enough, then why, why is why isn't Markiplier's video age restricted? And I get what he means as well, because like, if you're gonna apply, if you're gonna punish someone, which is fair enough, at least apply the same treatment to everyone else. So his video, his age restriction was lifted, but get this, a few days later, both Corey X Kenshin and Markiplier's videos we're age restricted. So another day, another two days go by, and what do you know? They re-age restricted the video. <laughs> they re-age restricted the video. I say no way did they do that. I go to Markiplier's video now, and now his video is age restricted. They got caught with their pants down. So YouTube reversed that decision of lifting the age restriction only to re-age restrict Corey's video. Now this left Corey furious. And for those who have seen the video, you can tell how upset and frustrated and angry he gets towards the end. And this is, from what I've heard, is usually, he's really bubbly, he's really happy. And this is what YouTube has done to him. And it's just so fucking sad. Uh, it's, it's messed up, it's really messed up. And I can relate to him on a similar note no nowhere near as severe as this obviously but earlier today i uploaded a video called wait you get no bitches and uh i only i i, I use a text to speech website with the glados sound font and within what five minutes or so of the video being up YouTube age restricted it. I turned off monetization anyway because I didn't want to earn money off of the video anyway, but the age restricted it. And I am baffled as to why this would happen. I am really, I am really baffled. Like it's YouTube is becoming an unstable place. I don't know. It's just, uh, the platform, something needs to change. Something needs to change on the inside of YouTube's team, whether it means a new CEO, uh, less bots, I don't know. But we cannot let what happened to Corey happen to any other black creator again, because it can come, it does come across as favoritism, especially. And, may and maybe maybe race was brought into it. I don't know. The only answer, we may never find out the answer, which is the sad part. We may never get answers, like proper answers, because let's face it, YouTube are not going to admit to it. YouTube won't admit to it. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt their egos. But 
no matter what YouTube do, they are getting back, they are suffering for it because I've seen Charlie, Jack, Cub Scouts, and even a fellow Doki YouTuber, Kane Monga, make a video on this. Like, you know it's bad when several big content creators and a Doki YouTuber, a fellow Doki YouTuber, is making a video on this. I feel like I had to make this video because, for in, in case you guys don't know, I'm mixed race myself and this topic although it hurts to talk about and i i honestly don't want to believe racism is a part of this i can't help but raise eyebrows to this because <sighs> this shouldn't happen in our day and age but unfortunately it does and something needs to change and youtube i know you're not watching this video but i'm gonna say i'm gonna give you guys a message right now you guys really need to change you need to make the site more content creator friendly because if you continue going down this route that you are just to satisfy advertisers and not think and not even considering the content creators that helped shape the, the, your platform to what it is today then they're gonna leave your platform they're gonna leave your platform Something needs to change and I won't stand for it. I know a lot of you guys won't stand for this either. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to get that off of my chest. This video is seven minutes long now. I'm probably going to end the video here. Uh, sorry for the more serious tone. Uh, but I felt like as a fellow mixed race slash black content creator, I felt I felt like I had to talk about this. This is very serious to me and I don't want I don't want to stay on a platform that does this sort of behavior to content creators, especially to someone as nice as Corey. He doesn't deserve this shit. No one deserves this shit. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for the serious tone in this video. There will, uh, the regular schedule will resume. And uh, until then, I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra.